We back with another video, man. We got Bill Burr. Titanic is a horror film. Hey, I don't know what he's talking about, but let's get right into it. Let's go. Y'all see the sub count right there, man. We going up every single day, posting every single day. If y'all have videos y'all would like me to react to, hit my Instagram, my Twitter. I need y'all to say, Pizzo, be consistent. Bill Burr, huh? I'm a loser, people. Oh yeah, let's get that out of the way. You know, hold on, third... hold on, hold on, Bill. Why you just, why you just grip that mic like that? Why you just grip that stand like that? Hold on. I'm a loser, people. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get that out of the way. You know, 36, not married. I sleep on a futon. You know, my back hurts. It's awful. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. People, let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know what I mean? Isn't anybody looking at the stats? What's it like, three out of four marriages go right down the drain now? People, if you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't gonna open. Man, what? Hey, that's a good analogy right there. You'd be like, yo, forget <laughs> it, I'm not going. I don't like those odds. I'm just kidding, people. You know what, I'll get married. I'll get married the day I see a married guy who actually like looks happy, you know what I mean? Because every time you see a married dude, anytime you ask them what it's like being married, they always tell you it's good, but they have a look on their face like they have like an appendicitis. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. You're like, yeah, you know, so what's it like being married? They're like, you yeah, know, it's good, it's good. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it hurt. Hey, it looks like it hurt. If you're married, tell me, how is it? Let me know. I'm a 19-year-old man. I don't know how being married is. Let me know down below how is it to be married. I don't know. It's hilarious. You're like, yeah, you know, so what's it like being married? They're like, you yeah, know, it's good, it's good. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but uh, you know, it's good. You know, you meet, when you meet the right person and you know, it starts to click. It hurts everywhere. You know, it's, it's a good thing. I, you know, I enjoy you it. You'll knees. <laughs> You'll meet that person. You know when you know. I can't feel my legs. No, you know when you know. It's definitely, it's a good thing. Just to <laughs> it kills them. That's basically what he's saying. It kills them. Facts. I love women, though. This is my deal. I love women, but you know what I'm finding? I'm not compatible with them. You know? I'm serious. Women have like too much energy for me. That's what I've noticed, you know? Like you can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. They just like see that open day. They're like, oh my God, let's go fill it up with some stuff. <laughs> no, and then they just come at you with one horrible idea after another. Horrible ideas like, you want to make some sandwiches and go to the park? <laughs> the <laughs> park? Every one of their ideas involves like walking around, like looking at stuff. It's almost like they're trying to wear you down. <laughs> After like two or three stores, you're like leaning on stuff. Ah, I don't care. Like, ah. Just buy something. I don't care. <laughs> hey, man, this is how I be when I go to my mom's shopping when I was younger. She would be out all day and night and they buy a thing. Like, how does that work? We just window shopping. I'm sorry. I want to go home. And then she'd be mad at me when I say I want to go home. Like, man, I'm not trying to walk all day. Hey, 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 this is true, Bill. You crazy you for down. this <laughs> After like two or three stores, you're like leaning on stuff. Ah, I don't care. Just buy something. I don't care. Don't care, man. You know what the worst one is? You ever get that one? You want to go to brunch? Yeah. You want to go to brunch on Sunday? Brunch ain't brunch ain't. And inside ain't you're like, bad. no! Brunch ain't bad. Come on now. But you can't say that. You got to keep them happy, right? A little bit of so breakfast. What do you do? You're like, yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $18 for eggs? <laughs> now nah, you're thinking. <laughs> now nah, you're thinking. Then we can sit around and listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs. Like, is that pesto? <laughs> is that pesto in your omelet? Oh, it's asparagus. <laughs> it's asparagus. I thought Yo, it was chill, pesto. Chill, chill, chill. You can't. You ain't supposed to say it. You know, Stephen. A. You ain't like. You, we was thinking it, but you ain't have to say it. Oh, you just want to <laughs> flip the whole table over? and just run out of there. So, I was dating this girl recently. This girl's like really like into like women's issues. <laughs> she got me this book on women's lib one time, right? So I'm reading this thing. I think women's lib was a great thing. Like back in the 70s, I thought it was cool, you know? Over the last couple of years though, I think that whole woman's movement, it's really starting to morph into kind of like this reverse pimping kind of thing, you know? 
talk about it. Because every Let's time see. we see them on TV, they always say, all we want is to be treated exactly like guys, right? But if you listen to them, they don't. They only want the good stuff of being a guy. Huh? They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet. <laughs> like you just can start picking out stuff. Uh-oh. Like same amount an hour? They don't. They only want the good stuff of being a guy. They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet. <laughs> like you just can start picking out stuff. Like same amount an hour, we'll take some of that. <laughs> Pay for the movie, that's okay, you can keep that one. I don't like that one. <laughs> this is nice, that's yucky, that's icky. Yeah. But come on people, you can't choose. Yeah, Pay for the movies, you can have that one. Pay for the gas, you can have that one. Pay for anything in life, you can have that one. That's how y'all is, for real. Females, y'all know, don't play. Don't play like we all know. We learned a long time ago, honestly. We just don't care no more. Hey, we don't care. Pay for the movie? I that's care okay. You can keep that one. I don't like that one. <laughs> this is nice. That's yucky. That's icky. <laughs> I mean, come on, people. You can't choose. This girl gave me a rough time one time. She goes, well, why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some screwed up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. <laughs> no, that's why I get the dollar more an hour. Yo. You know, if there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I gotta stand there with like the back of my shirt on fire. Like, like, oh my God, Bill. Like, I, when he explains it like that, it makes me understand. But is that a little bit of misogynistic? Maybe, like maybe, maybe. And I'm not saying I'm that because I'm definitely not. But what I am saying is that the thoughts are like they're true. They like they 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 feel true. We definitely are the ones that have to hold the door first. If there's the Titanic, females and children get the life rafts. Y'all get the boats. Y'all get to go first. You see what I'm saying? That's usually how it is in life. So why wouldn't we get paid more? But that's just not a good way of thinking. I don't think that's a good way of thinking. I don't know. But that is a good explanation for it, though. That's why I get the dollar more an hour. You know, if there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I got to stand there with, like, the back of my shirt on fire going, let's go, people, let's go, let's go. So that's how I look at it. No, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. Seriously, that if something screwed up happens, either I can't leave or I got to like, get in the way of it to give you a head start. Like, rabbit dog, run, honey. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> you hear a bump in the night, I got to go check it out. Like, yes, he does have a knife. Insurance. No, I don't. I don't think a woman should make a dollar less an hour to do the exact same job, okay? I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is if you're going to make what I make when the boat sinks, you better be standing right there next to me, listening to that guy play the cello. <laughs> then you get the corner office. I don't got a problem. You get all the benefits. That's why I didn't like that movie, The Titanic. You know, you know what I hate about that movie? Every girl like wow. me thinks that movie's romantic. Like, oh my God, that was so romantic, don't you think? No! <laughs> no, I don't. It was a horror film. And they're always like, why? I, I, why? Because all the guys die. <laughs> See, you're sitting there watching it going, who would I be in that scenario? You'd be that chick floating away in the big piece of luggage. I'm watching it going, who would I be? I'd be that dude when, like, the boat breaks in half, that dude who, like, falls straight down, <laughs> bangs off the stuff and goes into the water. That's who I'd be. I'd be wearing a tuxedo, not because I wanted to, but you wanted to dress up that night, right? And I'd just be falling the whole way down. I should have humped that chicken for his class. <laughs> All right, I'm out of time. You guys had a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, my God. Is this Bill Burr now? Howie Mandel here saying, oh, that's not Bill Burr. I thought that was Bill Burr now. You know the man Bill Burr is bald now. I ain't know. I ain't know. But, yo, Bill, you almost got me over here crying, man. I ain't going to lie. That is a crazy way to look at the titanic and a crazy way to look at why men should be paid more than women i don't think that's the truth i don't think that's right maybe that's a discussion for another day you know what i'm saying but what i will say is the title 
we're coming into this video i didn't know how he was gonna make the title of this video stick you know what i'm saying titanic is a horror film how does that make sense now i get it i understand it completely watching the titanic all the men die that's a fact watching it that's like a female watching another show where the man is the lead and the woman is like being abused and stuff they don't they don't really want to watch that that's kind of like a horror film because they can relate to it themselves same way in the men's perspective watching the titanic that ain't no uh, romantic film that ain't no lovey-dovey stuff every man in that movie died and i don't want that to be me so let's cut this off hey i don't know if that's how every person looks at it but that's how bill burr looks at it and that's a funny perspective about the titanic i ain't gonna lie y'all let me know what y'all think about this video down below though was it good jokes was it bad jokes y'all let me know down below i'll be in the comments with y'all that's the end of this reaction though man we have other reactions on this channel we have more reactions to come in the future if you guys can like comment subscribe turn on post notifications that'd be good for me also if you guys have other videos you would like me to react to just hit my instagram my twitter I will interact with you guys there, no problem. And we out.